What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video today. In this video, we are starting off massive unboxing at number eight with the first order from the RM Model Store. This will be my first time buying from them. I've heard a lot of great reviews and other things about this store, so I, I figured I'd give them a try. So I just got this order in uh, not too long ago. It was probably about a few minutes ago. Um, what I've noticed is that this is like taped shut. So this is not a bad thing at all. This is probably just to make sure that the models are protected and you know nobody tries to peek in the box while it's in transit. So um, I really don't know, but that's just something I noticed. All right, first, yep. first indentation into this thing. with this oh my god holy crap this is like tape shut oh jeez all right to you that was a bit of a struggle there so let me move the scissors off to the side here okay we're making some progress now oh jeez Oh, there we go. Apologies about the sounds the car table is making. It's kind of unstable, so like when I shake it around like that. So when I uh, shake it around like this, you can see it very easily starts to uh, shake around. So we got this opened. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look inside. I can already see one of the items peeking out. So flip this over. And the first thing that we have on top, we have a JC Wings. A uh, 20-piece accessory set, so it comes with a pair of jet bridges and various vehicles. A little bit deeper. Oh yeah, that's the first model I already see. Um, ooh, this is all wrapped up. Oh, I know what this is. Oh, come to me. All right. So here is the other model that I got. This is a Southwest 737-700 with the split scimitars. This is actually a release exclusive for the RM model store, and that's kind of why I made this order. Um, but I did make a couple other orders, but thankfully I was able to get it combined into one. Got a couple more models underneath. We have the first of the Gemini March 2021 releases. This is the Kalita Charters. 727-200 freighter. This is one of the models I was considering. Um, I didn't pre-order it initially when I pre-ordered from Waffle Collectibles, but thankfully uh, our model store had a couple others lying around, so I decided to pick this one up as well. And finally, at the bottom of the package, we have this Delta 757-300. This is from the uh, February 2021 releases. This is the only model out of that entire release um, that did interest me. So go ahead and start the unboxing video. This will be quite fun to say, to say the least. All right, the first item we will be unboxing in massive unboxing number eight will be this JC Wings 20 piece accessory set. Now, one thing to note is that this is gonna be uh, recorded in several segments over the course of, I would wanna say like a couple of weeks. Um, I'm still waiting for my Waffle Collectibles order to ship as I record this. I don't know what his deal is. He's been taking a while to get the Gemini March releases in. Um, but this is the JC Wings 20 piece uh, accessory set. Um, so you got the cutouts, you can see everything in there. You got a pair of jet bridges and various vehicles. I'm not going to go into too much detail with the package because it's just kind of self explanatory. Uh, there's the back, um, JC Wings, usual stuff. Got a lot of vehicles in here. This is really going to be interesting. So, first vehicle that's starting to uh, roam around in there looks like this is one of the tugs. We got a uh, air stair here, we got a larger one, and then there's a smaller one in here, as you can see. Uh, we got this little truck, uh, it just says freight on it, looks really neat. Uh, a couple other things just kind of flew out. Um, so we got a, uh, there's two, uh, two sets of baggage carts, so we got like the big baggage vehicles and everything in here, so one of them just kind of flew out of the plastic cradle that they were sitting in. Also got one of these um, baggage conveyor belts or whatever. This is the thing that they use to load the luggage onto the planes. So we got one of those. Got a big uh, semi truck and ooh, the cabin actually turns just like a real truck. I don't know if it detaches, it probably does, but even if it does, that's probably relatively easy to reattach. Got ourselves another tug on there. We got an L LSG uh, Sky Chefs catering truck. This is the first time I've actually seen one of these in person. Um, I know they're common at a lot of other airports, but this is the first time I've actually seen them. Another uh, baggage vehicle right there. 
And then we have the two jet bridges. There's one of the other cars lying around in there. So there's the jet bridges. Um, nothing too special with them, but um, just the standard jet bridge design and everything. No um, like connector piece like with the Gemini jet stuff because they have their own terminal design. So this will be nice to have. This will expand my jet bridge capacity once more from the 21 that I had already to now 23. Let's go ahead and hop into the models. First model for this unboxing video is this Delta 757-300 with winglets. This is the latest uh, 2021 release from the February releases. As I said in the release video, this is the only release that interested me. So inside we got the model, um, standard aircraft information as usual. I got some of the vehicles still kind of sitting there at the edge of the frame, so moving them out of the way. On the back, it is a 20, it says 2020 down here, but this is a, a 2021 release as uh, this was released in February 2021. Other than that, just the standard Gemini stuff. Item number on this one is GJDAL1963. So this will be my only my second 757-300 in the collection. And there we go. That feels really nice. Um, see, it's got the new model smell. Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> I love the new model smell. It looks, it just smells really nice. I don't know why. <laughs> but all right, here is the Delta 757-300 by Gemini Jet. So I'm putting this uh, piece of cardboard on the table because, as I said, the card table is relatively unstable. It has an unstable foundation, and the table kind of also sinks in when I put anything heavy on it. So this is just kind of there to support it. So we got the cockpit windows. Um, got a little Sky Team logo there next to the L1 door. Then you have the L1 warning door. Looks like some other decals next to it. Uh, the Delta titles above the windows. Uh, the registration on this one is November 586, November Whiskey. So pretty much just the standard uh, Delta stuff. It does have a wonderful Delta belly, which thankfully is not blocked by a gigantic stand hole on this one. You got the Gemini Jets logo underneath. The landing gear does roll, so this is the updated mold that uh, Gemini got um, once NG kind of came onto the block. So I don't know what that kind of was, but... <laughs> Um, yeah, so NG kind of came on and then they uh, updated the mold, Gemini JC and all that stuff, so. With that being said, let's move on to the next model. And here is the next model. This is the Kalita Charters 727-200 Freighter. So this is one of the next uh, Gemini March releases that I got, so in total I will have five models out of the Gemini March releases, which is really cool. So glad to have at least one to kind of hold me over until I get the other four. So inside. Aircraft information, you know the drill. And this is my first Gemini Jets model that has the 2021 um, copyright date on it. So if it will focus on, it's probably too close to the camera. There you go. You can kind of see it there. But again, standard Gemini stuff. Item number this one is GJKFS1957. My first 727-200 and my first Kalita aircraft in the fleet. It'll be really interesting to see how this one turns out, and oh my goodness, this is beautiful. <laughs> this is amazing. I like this already. And here is the Kalita Charter 727-200. I know I got you guys angled at this really high angle that Gemini Jets also likes to use. Don't worry, I am not affiliated with them, but um, I'll kind of hold it up here so you can kind of get a better idea of what it looks like. So we got the cockpit windows right there, uh, the L1 door, uh, looks like I got a car cargo door there. Uh, Kalita Charters 2. I don't know why it's called Kalita Charters 2. I don't know what happened to the first um, iteration of it. Registration of this one is November 726 Charlie Kilo. And then you have the iconic T-tail along with the uh, tri-engine configuration there at the uh, rear of the aircraft. Now, it looks like the landing gear does roll, although it looks a little unstable. Yeah, that looks like it's going to fall off really easily if you roll it too much, but um, I don't treat these things as toys anyways. Uh, looks like, I don't know, there's a, like a paint imperfection there in the nose. I don't know if you can see it that well, if the uh, camera will focus on that. But either way, that's really tiny, so I'm not going to go into too much detail about it. I don't want to nitpick this, and uh, not sure what happened here. It looks like they did misprint a detail on there, or something went wrong there. I don't know. Standard Gemini Jet stuff, but I love the 727, so this will be a really exciting addition to the collection. And now we'll move on to the exclusive, the last of the order. And here it is. This is the Southwest 737-700 with the split scimitar. So now, from my understanding, this is the first time that a 737-700 with splits has been done in the 1-400 scale. Um, plenty of them have been made in 200 scale, mostly by Gemini Jets. 
I don't know why Gemini hasn't made a mold yet, but this is actually, I believe this is a Panda model mold. So, um, I know NG did release a Southwest and United 737-700 with splits. Not sure if that's going to be using the same mold. It probably will, because I think NG and Panda, they may have some type of communication with each other. I don't know the whole, um, gist of this whole inside communication thing. Um, just kind of moving this, moving all this stuff around. So, I love the box design on this. This looks really wonderful. This is on par with NG for most creative box design. But it's more simplistic than um, NG, so there's no like branding or anything. So there's the bottom of the box. You got the registration and an image of the plane. On the front, you got Boeing 737-700. You got the image. Uh, registration, November 9 or 6-3, Whiskey November, 1-400 scale. Just got the Boeing logo here on the side. And then the top is the same as the bottom and right is the same as the left. And then here's the back. I uh, got some specifications, so it kind of follows like what JC Wings has, but this looks really nice. So this box is actually pretty dang small. So if I put her next to my Kalita Charters box, yeah, it is uh, much smaller. So um, for those that may have it on order, I'm sure by the time this goes out, everybody will have them, but this is actually a pretty small box. So no item number, we'll just go ahead and pop in. And wow, that looks amazing. This is a tight cradle too, good Lord. Plastic on the top, and there we go. Wow, that is amazing. That looks incredible. I don't think I've ever seen a model look that great before. This looks amazing. Um, the blue is gonna look a little weird on camera, but actually, but in person, it looks a lot better. So um, this is not. It's not gonna look like this on the camera uh, when you do get this model in person. If you already have it by now. Um, but this model looks really nice. So there's the cockpit windows, uh, got the L1 boarding door, a little southwest heart next to the door, got the southwest titles um, right along the windows, got southwest.com on the engines, the wonderful split scimitars which look beautifully crafted. Um, the bottom one may look a little bit too short but it's not a huge issue with me. Got the Wi-Fi dome, got the registration and the tail which looks amazing. But yeah, this has just been crafted beautifully. So this one, this model will certainly be one that I will cherish for quite a while. Again, apologies about the blue. My camera just does not like these deep blues for whatever reason. So it just shows up much differently on the camera um, than it does in person. But in person, the colors are pretty much spot on. So um, they, did, they, they definitely did a good job with this model. So uh, that's all the models I have for this unboxing. Just a total of three models and some accessories. Now I'm hoping to get my other two orders in. I got one from Waffle and then another one from DG Pilot. So hopefully I will have all those orders in. And then once those orders are in, I will record them once I do get them in. Um, all that, all that stuff, all that jazz. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed this first segment. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hop over to the next order, whichever one it is. I don't know, because this is past me and I don't know the future. So, some of you may be asking, where are the Gemini Jets March releases? The answer... I don't know. My retailer has not shipped out my order yet, which is Waffle Collectibles, so hoping um, that I will have um, some type of confirmation received here in the next couple of days that it is on the way, but um, it's uh, looking to be a little concerning if it's not shipped um, by the end of this week. I mean, it is, it is basically the uh, start of May at this point, so um, the fact that I don't have them yet is a little ridiculous. Um, you'd think that even with the amount of quantities of the Delta CRJ that Waffle got, he was going to have them shipped out, but whatever. I'm not going to worry about it too much, but here's a second order. This is from DG Pilot. Um, sorry about that, I bumped my leg into the tripod. But this is a second order from DG Pilot, and I was supposed to get some free models, but apparently that is on a separate um, that's being shipped separately, and that should be here in a few days. So in this case, we'll have four orders uh, to do. So this one is should be the National Airbus A330-200. This is the model that I ordered with that Eastern 767 that I got a few weeks ago. So um, I should have gotten both, but there was some type of inventory error or something like that with the uh, model. 
so um, they had to source it out elsewhere and they were able to get one and sent it out to me. So I'm at least happy that that was the case. Okay, All right, so first flap is opened. All right, we are in. Let's go ahead and take this out. All right, so we got some packing peanuts in here. Invoice, so just showed the same two models from the previous order, but um, there is the there it is inside. You can kind of see it already. Got a couple of packing peanuts in there, but golly, this is packed tight. Ugh. Wrapped up in this wonderful foam. And I think it's not taped shut this time, unlike the unlike before. And it is the National Airbus A330 200 by NG Models. So this will be the first NG wide body to join my collection, which I am really happy for. I've been always wanting an NG wide body and I figured this would be a good start. Now the reason why I'm getting this is because Sioux Falls actually got this very recently. Um, I featured it in Plane Spotting episode 65, so go check that out if you haven't yet. I was wanting to go to the airport to catch it, but unfortunately that didn't really work out. But I was able to see it um, with a little bit of um, bad quality footage, but Anyway, um, love the box art on this. Once again, NG continues to excel in box design. So the top, we got the Airbus A330 200 titles. We got the image of the plane, uh, the national logo. The registration is November 819er Charlie Alpha. This is the exact one I saw, and I believe it is the only A330 200 that National has in their fleet. We got the NG logo down there, 1400 scale, uh, collectible models, diecast metal. At the bottom, we have A330 200 National. Um, we got the image of the plane. The registration NG model. On this side, we just have the national logo A330 200 NG models, 1400 scale collectible models, die cast metal. Back side is relatively the same with some disclaimers. Item number of this one is 61023. And then the left is the same as the right, top same as the bottom. You get the drill. So let's go ahead and pop this open. Alright, let's see how this is packaged first before I dare rip it out. Okay, so we got uh, two pieces of plastic, one at the top, one at the bottom, and we got some foam. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. <clears throat> so, looks okay in there. I don't see anything detached, which is a good sign. Alright, so, hell yeah, this is wrapped up in foam, so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get this out. Uh, how do you pull this out? I'm gonna pull by the tail. There we go. Yes, that looks so beautiful. And here is the National Airbus A330 200 by NG Models. Now, I believe this was released in, I want to say, August of 2020. Um, I was considering getting this, but I did pass up on this in favor of... Oh, goodness, I don't know what I remember getting from that release. I don't even know if it was from the August releases, but from that I got the Delta Sky Team 738. But this is a really wonderful model. I just love the detail on the cockpit window. So there's the cockpit windows. You got like a, a tiny black outline. I don't know if you can see it if I got the model too close to the camera, but <clears throat> you can kind of see that black outline on the cockpit windows, which looks really nice. Got the gigantic national titles at the front, and they got the uh, web link to uh, National Airlines' website, which is www.nationalairlines.com. Got a wonderful blue... Um, color here at the off to the aircraft and then you have a red transition line kind of right in between that gray silver body color and then you have got some cool details there some cool accents on there uh, landing gear does roll as you can probably tell which looks really nice all the wheels on there uh, everything looks to be intact blue engines and then here's kind of the underbelly of it I should probably zoom out a little bit so there is the underneath of the aircraft you got the you got the national titles underneath, which is kind of blocked out by that stand hole. So, um, other than that, there isn't really too much else to comment on this model, but I will probably be putting this in the next uh, Joe Foss update probably um, before this video even comes out because I don't know when I'm going to get in those um, uh, Gemini March releases. Um, but I should be getting those three models in just a couple of days. I have no idea what they're going to be. Uh, these were picked out by DG Pilot themselves, so so they could be like the most random type of models possible to land in my collection, but it will be interesting to see what they end up sending. But if it's something I already have in the collection, then I guess so be it. But if it's something really cool, then that'll be awesome. But overall, it's just kind of a quick segment here as I await the rest of the models I got in order to come in. So let's hop over to the next order. Alright, 
here is the third order for massive unboxing number eight. These are the two free models that I got from DG Pilot. Now I have no idea what they're gonna be, um, but judging by the box size, as you can kind of tell, it's pretty freaking massive. So I may have gotten something like a, a 200 scale model, but either way, I'm not gonna complain or you know try to avoid any sort of negative feelings on these models, but we'll see what they ended up giving me. I gotta grab my scissors. Now we're making progress, finally. Another side should come off fairly easily. easily. Never mind. All right, and we are in. I got two bars on my camera battery, but we're gonna make do with it. All right, we got it. This thing in here that I gotta read. So there was a little message in there uh, written by DG Pilot themselves. So looks like we've got a couple of interesting things in here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove each of them individually without looking at them. See what we end up getting as compensation. First up, wow! Check that out. We got a Phoenix KLM Airbus A330-300 with the 100th anniversary stickers. Wow, that's a really good model. I was not expecting a Phoenix. I was expecting something like a Gemini or something. We got underneath here. There's still a bigger box, it looks like. Uh, the second one, as I try to unwrap it from the foam. Uh, wow! British Airways 787-10. Holy cow, these are some really good models right here that we just got from DG Pilot. Wow, there's actually some really good ones in here. Uh, models that I was not expecting, certainly. I was kind of expecting a Gemini jet, but I was not expecting this Phoenix um, KLM A330. <laughs> so, some really nice complimentary models. So thank you again, DG Pilot, for your wonderful service. And I'm happy to be a customer. So go ahead and start off with the KLM A330. 300. Alrighty, here is the KLM Airbus A330-300 with the 100th anniversary sticker. So this will now be my third Phoenix model in the collection, so I'm kind of, ex kind of excited to see how this one turns out. So on the front of the box we got Airbus A330-300, you got the uh, image of the plane, uh, KLM-100, and then the registration is Papa Hotel-Alpha Kilo Alpha, one 400 scale platinum series. And then here is the right side of the box, there's the bottom. And then the left, you got the Heart of Aviation, all that good stuff on there. And then the top is the same as the bottom. Here's the back of the box. So we got a limited edition A330-300, KLM-100, and the registration once more. So it looks like we do have a sticker on there. And it's supposed to be, that says Papa Hotel-Alpha Kilo Delta, which is a completely different registration. So we'll see what we actually ended up getting. I'm going to open up from this side. Looks like it's been torn. So maybe he inspected the model before it left his um, shop. So let's go ahead and take out... This one, see what it looks like. And there we go. Wow. That is incredible. Alrighty, here is the KLM Airbus E330-300 with the 100th anniversary sticker. So this is my first uh, KLM A330 and my first Phoenix A330 in the collection and only my second KLM aircraft overall. So we're gonna go ahead and start off at the front I'll focus on here. It's having a little difficulty. Okay, so at the front we have the cockpit windows. You got the little Sky Team logo. I've got the L1 door, the Air France KLM titles, and I believe that is the aircraft name right there. I'll have text that'll pop up that'll show as to what it actually is. We got the KLM logo of Royal Dutch Airlines, the 100th anniversary sticker, which I believe has been removed from some aircraft now, so this is a little bit outdated, but this, this doesn't bother me too much. Got a little KLM logo there on the engine, and there's the landing gear. Uh, the wheels, they look a little iffy. Um, the nose wheel looks okay. And then there's the registration. So this is actually Alpha Kilo Delta. So this is a slightly different one that I was given. Um, it said Alpha Kilo Alpha on the box, but this is Alpha Kilo Delta. But not, not complaining, this is still a really great model. I'm sure it probably would have been the same with that registration. There's a tail. Um, it almost looks like it's been kind of glued in wrong at the factory, but... Um, yeah, and then here's the underside. You got the Phoenix logo and the stand hole. But overall, this is a really nice model. This is going to be uh, 
great facility to add to the collection, so I'll definitely be putting this in some of the larger uh, airports whenever I get to those model airports in the future. Don't know if I will, but I probably will at some point. So moving on over to the second model. All right, I got you propped up at a very high angle here, but this is the British Airways 787-10 by Gemini Jets. So this looks to be, I believe this is the only release they've done so far. Um, so this is their first 787-10. So we got the usual Gemini Jet stuff on here, and then there is the model inside. Aircraft info here on the underside of the flap. And then on the back, it looks to be a 2020 release, as expected. Usual Gemini Jet stuff on the box, and the item number is GJBAW1931. If I can get my thumb out of there, there we go. So my first 78710 in the collection, and... It'd be really nice to see how this one turns out. I saw someone get this like completely destroyed. It was almost like a full-on kit uh, with that release. So I hope mine's not the same. And it looks like we are good. No uh, broken pieces or anything. This doesn't really feel loose at all. So tightly glued in. Good job, Gemini. And here is the British Airways 787-10 by Gemini Jets. I have to say, this mold's actually pretty nice, um, especially since it's not a cradle mold like the uh, 787, 8, and 9 are. Um, this Dash 10 is a bit of a newer mold, so it has the slot in wings instead. So overall, this mold is really nice, I can already tell. So we got the cockpit windows, the British Airways logo, and it looks like that is the uh, crown or whatever. I think that's part of the royal family, I believe. Got the Rolls Royce logo on the engines, so these are probably the uh, Trent 1000 engines for the 787s. Overall, just a plain Euro white aircraft, and you got a uh, very dark blue underbelly with the Gemini Jets logo. Uh, landing gear looks to be all intact, so they do all roll, and the model feels very greasy and slippery. So it's probably been in the box um, ever since it left the factory over at Gemini Jets. And then there's the iconic Speedbird tail, and then the registration, which is Golf Dash Zulu Bravo Lima Alpha. So overall, this is a really nice pair of models for uh, DG Pilot to give out, so I do appreciate their um, quick response to the issue with the Eastern and National Order that I made a few weeks ago uh, from me recording this. So, um, very nice choice of models. I'm at least happy that, you know, these are models that I've kind of wanted, uh, more specifically the British Airways. Uh, the KLM I was not expecting, uh, Phoenix, that was kind of a, woo, just kind of came out of nowhere. So overall, I'm very happy with these models, and um, they'll probably just be sitting on my shelf collecting dust unless I can find some other use for them. But overall, this is, these are really nice additions. And now the last order will be the Gemini Jets March, and I'm happy to say that it is on the way as of me recording this. So hopefully it'll be here probably the very next day or the day after, so we'll see how that turns out. Here it is. The Gemini Jets March releases have just arrived from Waffle Collectibles. We're gonna hop straight in because I want to see these models. And I'm on a bit of a time constraint once more. Move quick. So in total we have four models from Waffle Collectibles. Uh, the Delta, United, Southwest, and Frontier I all ordered. And I'm hoping all four of them are in there. So, let's look at the first one. It's already starting to unwrap. And this one, this is the Frontier Airbus A321. This is the Team the Eagle special livery. All right, we got the second one, the Southwest 737-700 Gold Retro. And we should have the two smaller boxes in here. I hope there's two. Um, oh yeah, that's pretty long. So there's gonna be two in there. All right, come to me. Where are my babies? Yes! Look at this. Delta and CRJ 900 and a United CRJ 200. Wow. That is incredible. That was all that stuff. All right, we're gonna go ahead and hop straight into the unboxing because, yeah, this is going to be one of my favorite Gemini Jets unboxings that I've ever done. 
four models from a single release. I don't think I've ever done this before. Um, Pre-ordering four in one order from a single release set. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with the Frontier, head up to the Southwest, then the United, and then finally the Delta. It looks like the Delta's in good condition. Let's go ahead and get started with the Frontier. I'm just gonna hop straight in because again, I am running on a bit of a time constraint, so I may not have enough time to film all this. But in the inside, we got the model aircraft info. You know the drill. This is a 2021 release, and we got the uh, Steve the Eagle plane there. Item number on this one is GJFFT1618. I just wanted to check to make sure I'm reading the item number correctly. So, this one will be a little I'm kind of excited for. Hopefully, it is not broken. And it looks like it is not. Wow. Yes. So happy to have it. And here is the Frontier Airbus E321 Steve the Eagle. So this is the first Frontier E321 that Gemini Jets has done. So you got the usual Gemini shenanigans with this mold. So a little bit too big of engines and the landing gear is all chunky. Uh, thankfully nothing is detached, which, which is good. So at the front we got the cockpit windows, the Steve the Eagle titles, the L1 door, the Frontier billboard titles. And then have the green engines, flyfrontier.com, the registration, November 709 er Foxtrot Romeo, and then Steve the Eagle himself on the tail. So overall, this is actually a pretty decent model. I'm just at least happy this is in one piece and hoping the other three are. But we're going to go ahead and pop over to the next model. All right, next model up here for the unboxing is this Southwest 737-700 gold retro livery. So this is just the standard Southwest um, box art for Gemini Jets models. So this is just the standard uh, box art for Gemini Jets Southwest models. So plain white box, no flap, but we do have the usual Gemini Jet stuff. No animated plane on the back. This one is a 2021 release. For some reason, this feels light. Um, but the item number in this one is GJSWA1962. Okay, so at least there's a model in there, so it felt a little bit lighter than usual, so I was concerned if I, if there wasn't a model in there, and look at that. Looks like we are good on this one, too. And here is the Southwest 737-700 with the gold retro livery, and ooh, look at that engine there. Ugh, that's, uh, like all bent up. That's probably, uh, that might be loose or something. Um, oh, yeah, that's not good. Come on, really? It was all attached and everything, but I was wiggling the engine around. Is the other one like that? No, the other one is all, uh... Come on. Gemini Jets, you are... Seriously, people? I don't think I... I, I haven't seen the uh, Southwest Gold Retro come broken yet, so this is the first time I've ever gotten a 737 broken, but... You're kidding me. Well, um, I'm probably just going to skip a review on this because I don't like to review broken models, but yeah, that was probably just lack of glue on there, so um, it's not surprising at this point that models are going to come broken like this, but it's ridiculous because I paid almost $40 for this when you factor in tax and shipping when it's divided evenly across my whole order, so that's, that's kind of unfortunate, but... I'll have to fix it later because again, I'm on a time constraint. I don't have time to screw around and, you know, fix this up. So we'll fix this up later. <clears throat> All right, next up we have the United Express Bombardier Mitsubishi CRJ200 with the new Evo Blue colors. So I already have the Battleship Gray and the Continental Globe. So this will be the third overall in my collection. Flip it open. Thankfully, this one is not broken. So there is the aircraft info like usual. And then on the back, it is a 2021 release yet again, so usual Gemini Jet stuff. Item number on this one is GJUAL1966. So, hopefully this one is good. Yes. Oh my god, I've been waiting for this for so long. I cannot wait to see the Delta in the flesh. And here is the United Express CRJ200 with the Evo Blue colors. So not really much has changed apart from the colors and the uh, underbelly color and all that stuff. Um, the design of the underbelly, rather. So um, yeah, overall, this livery is really nice. Um, looks like there might be a... Oh, no, that was just a light reflection there. Never mind. 
So the front we have the uh, cockpit windows, if it's going to focus on it. So the front we got the cockpit windows, you got the CRJ200 stuff connecting people in the United in the world. Star Alliance logo, L1 door, operated by Sky West, the United Express titles. There's a registration, November 246, Papa Sierra. And there's a nose landing gear. I've heard a couple of complaints with this. Uh, looks like mine is a little iffy. Uh, let's check out the other wheel here. Yeah, they didn't really paint that correctly. And then there is the Evo Blue tail. So overall, this model came in intact. I'm just at least happy this one did, unlike the Southwest. But now we are going to move over to this model. You know how excited I am for this? It's an 11 out of 10 for sure. This model has been one I've been waiting for ages. The Delta Connection CRJ900 and 1400 scale. I've seen all the unboxings, I've seen all the reviews, I've seen all the pictures in the weeks leading up to this day, and I do have seen that the landing gear was not glued in, it was not glued correctly, and the horizontal stabilizers are pointed in the wrong direction. So apart from that, um, this model is going to be very perfect. Flip it open in there, and there it is inside. This will be my first Gemini Jets Delta CRJ900. And on the back, there is the usual stuff with the Gemini Jets. Box looks to be in good condition, so this should not be broken. So at this point, I'm not going to say anything further. I'm just going to let the unboxing do the talking, and I'll cue some fancy music to make this seem a little more dramatic than it should be. Sorry if that got a little too, too dramatic there, but this is a model that I've been waiting for for quite a while, and I'm just super happy to have it. <clears throat> so there is the uh, landing gear, and then you got the horizontal stabilizer. So it looks like my model does have this issue, although I think my horizontal stabilizers, they might appear okay. They might be elevated down just a little bit, but it does not look like it's as significant uh, compared to what I've seen, but maybe I'll notice it later on, but, um, there's a the landing gear. You know what? It is an issue, but it doesn't bother me too much. If it becomes a serious problem with me, I'll try to fix it, but I just don't really see a need to fix it anyways. It's not broken, unlike the Southwest, because that for some reason came broken. So I'm probably just going to leave it as it is. So I should probably flip the model over. <clears throat> At the start, we got the uh, cockpit windows, the little Sky Team logo, the L1 boarding door, the Delta Connection titles, and then you have the registration, November 821 Sierra Kilo, and then the Delta Connection tail. And fun fact, this is actually, I believe, their, their only CRJ900 that has the full blue tail, because I think their other CRJ900s, this little bit sticking out from the rest of the tail is painted white. So this one is painted blue. Um, I guess maybe that's why they chose this one. But yeah, so it looks like mine. It was probably an issue across the whole batch with the uh, landing gear. But I'm probably not going to bother messing with that because I don't want to ruin this model. Because if I do damage it severely, like beyond repair or anything, it's probably going to be near impossible to get a replacement. And that's it for massive unboxing number 8. I hope you enjoy this unboxing video. Lots of ups, a little bit of downs because, well, you'll see why right here. Because, yeah, this... This happened. So yeah, um, pretty much a lot of ups, but just that one little negative with the Southwest, which yet again was caused by Gemini Jets. So thank you once again for breaking yet another model and adding on to my broken model record. So hopefully you enjoyed massive unboxing number eight, and I hope you guys stuck around for the entire video and for the premiere if you're watching this on the day that it's posted. If you did watch the whole way, well done. If you skipped here, and then I guess 
so be it. <laughs> I can't control my viewers that much, but I can definitely encourage you to watch. So yes, this Delta CRJ900 will be making its debut in next week's airport update at Joe Foss Field, Sioux Falls Regional Airport. How fitting. And then the Southwest Gold Retro, yes, I will fix this off camera, but I'm going to take a thumbnail shot with this because putting the broken models in there will probably give me more views. So with that being said, this, this is the end of a very um, interesting unboxing video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.